And Angela Kelly's live in Stathbridge this morning to preview the sturgeon spearing season. Yeah. Hi, Ange. Yeah. Hey, guys. Good morning. We're joining you from inside the Harbor Bar and Grill. This is right off Lake Winnebago um, at Stockbridge Harbor. And basically, a lot of people come here for breakfast, coffee. They're coming in throughout the day after setting up their ice shanties, cutting the holes in the ice. And I'd like to introduce you to Ben and June Berg. Um, they grew up around this area. Um, they lived here uh, pretty much their whole lives. And they are so rich in uh, sturgeon spearing history that they are actually part of this book called People of the Sturgeon. And so let's take a look at this picture. And Ben, tell us what we're looking at here. That's a, a picture of uh, a shanty that a friend of mine, Dave Haymore, and I built for our families so we had a little more room because it was we were getting too big for the smaller shanties. Mm -hmm. And and these are that, you, yours and June's children. Yes, that's we have four four children, uh, Vicky and Brad and Jimmy and Polly. Mm -hmm. And from what year is this? That probably is around 72 or 73. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm so, I, I mean, really, you guys have been doing this for years, and I can imagine the stories that you have yeah. to share, some of them which we can read yeah. in this book. But, June, you've got a, a bunch of pictures here. This is one of your favorite stories. Tell us about this day. Well, this is probably once in a lifetime deed that a sturgeon fisher man or woman will get. My girlfriend and I were fishing in my shanty, and sitting there looking down the hole, eating what you do most of when you're out there, discussing life's problems. <laughs> and I looked down and I seen enough sturgeon in my life to know that this was a big fish. So I got up, stood up, couldn't immediately get the, the handle of the shanty off. The, I punched a hole in the insulation of the shanty, got the, the spear off, threw it, and got it. It was a 98 pound sturgeon. 98 pounds mm -hmm. right here. This one right yeah. here. And what was it? A matter matter of minutes your friend? You, that is one time in life you don't have a long time to make your decision if you're going to throw the spear or not. You have to throw it pretty much right away. Mm -hmm. So I knew right away when the fish took off when I grabbed the rope I knew it was a big one and I knew we wouldn't be able to get it in by my, ourselves. So I sent my friend Linda over to Ben's shanty. She ran over there, which I think by the time she got over there, she thought was 20 miles away. <laughs> but they came, Ben came back, we got the fish out of the hole, got it out on the ice. Ben set us back up in the shanty. By that time, it was probably like quarter after 12, fishing ends at 12.30. So at that time, Linda sat by the spear. And I'm thinking there's no way, because she has never speared a fish, no possible way another fish would come in. But one did, a 65-pounder came in. Wow. So we had two fish in probably a half hour, 45 minutes time. It's really, really incredible. And I know we're running out of time here, but um, Ryan, I don't want to put you on the spot here. Uh, this is the uh, sturgeon biologist for Lake Winnebago. Didn't you say the chances are, what is it, one in every eight people on average will are is able to spear a fish i mean it's it's not a common thing to be able to do yeah the long time annual success rate on lake winnebago for spears is 10 to 13 percent so if you do the odds one in every eight eight spears each year will get a fish oh. yeah so this this is a good day mm -hmm. a very good day very yeah. good day yeah. very yeah. good day once in a lifetime well benny maybe not <laughs> <laughs> you will be fishing with me again tomorrow oh, yes and they have a I know, I love it, and they've got a busy day ahead of them because this is when they, they go out and get their shanties ready, and we'll talk to them more about that coming up okay. in about half an hour. Great Back stories. To you. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Thanks Ange. Ange.